Hi guys, this is Ari with Ari Premier, and I'm here at Mod Barn Designs, and I'm going to show you how to paint and distress this lovely frame. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to take a wet cloth and wipe it down, get all the dust, and just prep for paint. So let me do that. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to take this paintbrush and this white and Sloan chalk paint and we're going to just dab a little bit on and start painting. So yeah. And I'm going to do the first coat and then let it dry for a little bit. And because this chalk paint, it dries very fast so it should take about 5 to 10 minutes. So first we're going to do the first paint and I'm going to paint over the hair design and After we paint this one coat of white and let it dry, I am going to paint it patina green. This color is really pretty and I'm going to paint over the white and then just stress it so you can see both colors, the white and the green. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit and just start painting over the white. And it looks really pretty. So I'm going to make sure I get into the this kind of decorative and it's like that so okay so now that this second coat of paint is dry we are going to distress it and because we have a lot of decorative detail here we're not going to use sandpaper because that will just flatten it out and really mess up the detail so we're going to use a wet cloth because this is chalkboard paint chalk paint um it just comes off very easily just using a wet cloth so let's get started so we're just going to go like to the edges or wherever you want it to be distressed and kind of like rub, kind of get it, you know, to show the white a little bit. It might take a while. So it's kind of showing, you can see there. So we're just going to do this until, um, you know, we're happy with what it looks and yeah. Okay, so I originally wanted to use this vintage aging, aging wax, but I think as you guys probably see, like as I started um, getting the cloth and then rubbing it in, it wasn't showing as much as I liked. So I decided to use this American Paint Company Brown Glaze Finish, and it turned out way better, I think. It's more brown, more vintage looking. It gives it really nice depth and it looks cool. So yeah. So with the glaze, all you really gotta do is, you know, just put a few drops in here. Not that much, so just a little bit. I can get it out. Whoa. <laughs> okay, sorry, that's a little too much. Alright, so you're gonna get a little bit like that. And then you're just gonna get a brush and you're going to place it over the area where you want it. So like right here, you good. And just spread it out, spread it around. Make sure it gets even and you know just have fun with it. Experiment. So we're gonna do that. And then so once you're done, you're gonna get a cloth and just wipe it down. And yeah, there you go. Okay, so once we are done glazing and waxing this frame, we are going to turn it into a jewelry holder. So we're going to get this chicken wire and staple it to the back of this frame. So you get a staple gun and make sure that the wire is behind the frame and not poking out over the side. What you do is kind of Then we're going to make sure the wire is, that's how much wire we need. And then we're going to get a wire cutter and snip up the wire. So starting about right here, we're going to go all the way across. And last one. There we 
go. So once that's done, we're gonna move this and staple the rest to the mirror. And we need to make sure that it's nice and even so that it doesn't bend down or stick out kind of weird. So let's do this. And we are finished. I would like to thank you guys for watching and also give a special shout out and thanks to Mod Barn Design for letting me work and just have fun with making this. It was an amazing experience and I learned so much. I will leave a link in the description box below to their website if you want to check out more awesome stuff. They do. They're amazing guys. So go check them out. Check them out at modbarndesign.com. And again, there will be a link in the description box below. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, please give me tons of thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Bye.